what we're going to have a go at making today is a logo similar to this BP one that you can see on your screen at the moment. It won't be exactly the same, but we're pretty close. You can see the techniques they've used to get this sort of effect. To begin with, just um, start by making an A4 document on your page that is in landscape format. And when you're ready, grab your pen tool from the toolbox. And there should be no fill color and just have a black stroke. That's about one point in size. To get started, click once on your screen and just move up with the mouse. And you should see that this green line appears if you go directly up from the point that you clicked on. I'm going to go up around 40 to 45 millimeters and when I get to that point I'm going to click and hold my mouse and just drag to bend that line a bit. Okay, I'm going to make a bit of an arc here. Um, something that looks similar to that should do us. Once you've drawn it, just grab your black arrow. You can see that's our shape. Once we have drawn that, I'm going to click on it once with my black arrow and hold down the Alt key and then drag off it and that will just duplicate a copy of that line. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Clicking on that new line that we just created, I'm going to right click on it now, still with my black arrow, and I'm going to go down to transform and I'm going to reflect it. Just make sure you've clicked on vertical and click OK. Now you've just got to drag this part over to the original line until they connect. Okay, so we've got this sort of shape. It looks a bit like a leaf, if anything. Now I need you to grab your direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, and just highlight the top part of that intersection there where the lines meet. Once you've highlighted that top section, just right click on it and go down to join. And you'll need to do the same for the bottom section of this little shape. Just highlight the bottom area of it there. Right click on the bottom point and we'll join it. Okay, so we've now got this shape here looking like one of the leaves from the BP logo. The next step is to make sure you've got your little shape selected still with the black arrow. And we're going to pick up the rotate tool from our toolbox. It's like a circular arrow. While holding down the Alt key, I just want you to click on the bottom point of that shape. Okay, and up comes this rotate dialog box. Make sure the angle is set to 20. You can preview it if you want so you can see how it's going to look. And all I want you to do is copy it once. Okay, and you'll get that shape. Before you click anywhere else, I want you to press Control D on your keyboard a few times. You can start to see that our BP logo is coming together now. Okay, so go all the way around, just continue pressing Control D until you get back to the start, and you get a shape that looks similar to that. Okay. Once you've got that, you need to highlight it all for me. Oops, I don't want to get the BP logo in there, I just want to get this shape. There we go. Once I've got it highlighted, I'm just going to remove that stroke color. We don't want a border on this shape. And to get that green color in the background there that BP has used, you could either go up to your fill color there and select something similar. Okay. Or you could grab your eyedropper tool and actually click on the green in this BP logo. And that will change our logo to that exact green color that BP has used. Okay, once we've done that, we need to go over to our Pathfinder panel. Remember if you cannot see your Pathfinder panel over here, get it from your window menu. Okay, you'll find it somewhere down there. There it is. Okay, once you've got everything selected in the Pathfinder, you just need to click the first button down the bottom there that says divide. That will just split those shapes up. And also go up to object and just ungroup it all. That's going to make life a little bit easier when we start to colour in in a moment. Okay, I might just zoom in a little bit here so you can see what we're doing. With my black arrow tool still selected, I can hover over little sections inside this um, flower kind of shape at the moment. What we need to do is select these bigger parts by holding down shift and just clicking on them. Try and go all the way around doesn't matter if you miss one, you can always go back and colour it in a bit later on. 
There we go. So I've held down Shift and highlighted all those. Using my eyedropper tool, I'm just going to click on this second color in the BP logo. And there we go. That changes it to that color. Okay, this is where it tends to look a little bit different. Okay, you can see we've got some skinnier points on our flower in the middle here now compared to what the BP logo has on their bright yellow section. But that's okay. We'll just work with what we've got for now. So again, we need to click on them with the black arrow, hold down shift, I'll zoom in a bit more here, and click on those skinny green parts that are left in the middle. Okay, once they're all selected, you can zoom back out a bit, grab the eyedropper tool once again, I'm going to click on the yellow part of the BP logo to turn that into yellow. Now before I deselect anything here, I'm just going to go up to Edit and Copy, and then Edit Paste. That just pastes that shape off to the side here for me. This is going to be the middle section that we turn into white. Okay, so just turn it to white. Um, we might grab that and move it back down into the center of our BP logo there. So it goes right on top of that yellow one. I will zoom in just so I can see that I've done just that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit smaller by holding down the shift key and the alt key at the same time. Keeps it all in proportion. And I'm also going to rotate it a little bit just so it goes in between those yellow parts of the flower. And if you click off it, there's the middle section of our logo. Okay, if you zoom back out now, not quite the same, but looks fairly similar. Okay, you can see the uh, kind of effects that BP were using when they created their logo. To finish off with, you just grab your text tool. I can't tell the name of that font, but it does look like Arial to me. So I might just write BP and choose Arial font from my list up here. I'll make it a reasonable size. Yeah, I think that's definitely Arial font. And I will grab my eyedropper tool once again to turn it to green. And just move that into place. There you have it. That's how you almost make the BP logo.